Um, can you define what a woman is? No. <laughs> no. That's a pretty straight answer. Yeah. <laughs> and can you define, or if you could, how would you define what a woman is? I can't define, I'm sorry. Or how would you define what a woman is? Uh, I don't know how you would. I don't know how you would. I, I don't think... Um, that question is like... How do you define? I don't know if you'd want to like. Um, I don't think it's even important to define like. If you'd have to define what a woman is, I think that's my answer. I'm not really sure how you would. I don't think you have to. Yeah, no, that's, that, that, that's, that's why we asked. And what about you? Can you define or how would you define what a woman is? I would define a woman as anyone who identifies as one. And, and, that's a good answer. And pro and pro and and use of pronouns there with a woman. Um, I think statistically it's most likely that they'll identify by she, her, but I know she, they is also yeah. quite common for. Understood. That's amazing, guys. Thank you so much. Are you able to define what a woman is? Um, so I really like this uh, this quote by Simone de Beauvoir, uh, who says that you you aren't you aren't born a woman; you become a woman. Uh, I think it's it's very interesting because it it relates to the experience of being a woman, and I I don't know if you could put it in very simple terms. I don't know if it's just. Uh, you know, being born sexually a female, if but you, in order to become a woman, I, I, I don't know if I, I, I can't really put a like point blank definition of it. So, a couple of questions on gender here at King's College London. Um, how many different genders are there, guys? I'm not sure. Um, there's, I don't think there's a number. It's think probably it's like, yeah, yeah, it's not a number. Spectrum. I don't think. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's. A it's how you feel, it's putting a number on it is restrictive. Is gender and biological sex two different things? Yeah. Um, probably my initial answer, answer would be two, but uh, I know there's, you know, people can be gender fluid. Can tell, honestly. What we're learning from people is that there's an infinite number of genders, whereas six months ago when I asked the question, people would struggle and they'd say 10, they'd name them 20, they'd name them. The issue is is that what we started to realise is that people started saying it was more like about identity and how you identified, whether you identified as male or female, and that gender was fluid. Is that what you would agree with? Oh, in current state of the world, probably, yeah. So gender, it's, uh, gender is fluid. People have told us as well it's a social construct. What are your thoughts on that? It's debatable, but if they think so, probably, yeah. Okay. How many different genders are there? Um, I don't actually know the answer to that. I think it's fluid. So is gen I hear a lot of students say gender is a social construct, and that links to the word fluidity, and that's different from biological sex. Is that correct? Yes. So biological sex meaning XX, XY chromosomes, but uh, gender is a different entity altogether, and that there are... Uh, would you say there's an infinite number of, of genders? It's about how, what I'm taught is that it's about how someone identifies. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Do you have a lot of that at King's College? Um, I've only been here for about a month, but um, it seems like a very diverse bunch of people, to be honest, yeah. And can you define what a woman is? Um, somebody who identifies as she, her.